Hello everyone and welcome back to the long drive where we were last time as we were at the bus stop over there and I was deciding what to do so I've got my car here but I have decided I'm gonna take the bus um, so I have uh, transferred my radiator I've just thought the radiator is over because this one is now empty I had drained the oil out of the gas tank on here and because I had that barrel of oil I just kind of poured it in now what I've tried to do here is make like a hook system so I can try and tow this car with me. I've seen in the past in pictures people doing this. They had like, they had more bars of course, but um, maybe I can do it with hands. Let's try a hand. Because uh, if I can stick this on there just to act like a hook, that won't hopefully pop off. Um, let's try it with this one here as well. So the idea is to try and just make a little like hook system that uh, stops it from popping off like that. So hopefully that will uh, keep it going. Um, I don't know. I've not had much luck in the past. But um, I'm happy to give it a try. Uh, just in case I lose it. Let's uh, stick you up there. And uh, stick you up there. And uh, stick you, guess what, up there. So uh, yeah, this is my car. And this is all set to go. Um, and we will just jump in and get a move on. Like again, the idea, like every other episode, is to try and make some kilometers up. Um, now I have pretty bad luck with these buses. I can't really see what's going on behind me. Uh, I do have oil, a uh, fuel. Um, not a lot, but I have some fuel. And I thought, it, nope, see, it didn't. It isn't coming with me. I hoped it would. So I've had a few issues with this in the past with buses. Um, ah! Oh, oh, how unjust was that? That's off now, okay. Let's try that now. The handbrake is off. That's ready to roll. Uh, this car here. Hopefully these are... I was hoping that'd be strong enough. Hmm, let's give this a shot now. Hopefully this will work. Now we've had that a little, uh, re-sculptured. Change my view, please. Can I see what's behind me? I was sort of towing it along. Uh, alright, and now we are on the way, I guess. No, not quite. It kind of broke free. Oh, well, I guess we're going to leave that behind. I'm going to steal my pumpkins, though. That's my number one thing I need, is my pumpkins. Like I've mentioned many times before, they've, they've come with me a long way. So I want to take them with me, of course. So maybe that will work. We'll give that a shot anyway. Who knows? Accelerate. Let's get a bit of tug. It's sort of working taking it with us, whether or not it will stay at speed, is another question. Ah! This seems pretty decent so far, as long as I'm not going too fast and not jumping on the accelerator too hard. This might just work! Ooh! So there we go! I can bring my, uh, my little, uh, larder with me. How, how fun is that? Now, this does happen in real life, you, especially here in Australia. You'll see big buses, well, kind of camper conversions that unhook there. Uh, nope, I've lost it. <laughs> you'll see camper conversions driving along and they will have like a bus on the end. Or a bus, I should say, will have a, uh, a little car behind them. Bye then. Bye car. You were fun. Now we just have to find lots more diesel. I don't have a lot, to be honest. I've only got 30 litres or something. Um, which will get me about 50 k's or something. But, uh, you know, I'd like to find another one pretty quick. Uh, but yeah, you will see camper buses like that. Um, might as well shut the door as well. But that's something. Uh, that would be nice to... Uh, that would be nice some 
to see in the future having like a tow system, tow hooks, or even just like an A-frame you can kind of stick on the front of a car, which will allow you to tow it like a trailer. That is ideally what I was trying to do, is tow it like a trailer. And, um, ooh, I see you, Barney. You're lucky. There's a rock there. The good thing about the bus is it's quite high off the ground and it's quite heavy, so it doesn't kind of flip out or freak as much as you would with other cars. And, of course, it doesn't go that quick. Um, I gathered that with the other car when I had the diesel engine in my car. We cruise along comfortably at 100 and uh, that's quite great for me. So I kind of enjoy driving at this speed. And it's actually quite quiet in the bus because the engine is way back there. Now one of the things I have worked out in the past is while you're driving, don't get up. You know, I've tried to get out of the car while I was driving along because I was just trying to do something. I can't remember what it was. I just tested to see if it worked and it killed me. <laughs> uh, so I just remember that. You can't really get up while driving along. It will kill you. No problems. Just avoid the rock. Now I have all the storage space in the world. Okay, and I got mirrors. What's this? That's my fuel gauge. As you can see, I got a little bit of fuel. Maybe an eighth of a tank. Yeah, about an eighth of a tank. Um, what's that there? Oh, okay. It's green light. Ah! That's where everything falls out. Now, I wouldn't mind getting myself a bus license. Uh, well, I, for that, you need to get a heavy rigid over here. Um, and to do that you need to get a medium rigid, which is something I'm looking at doing. And you've got to have a medium rigid for a year. Well, you're a nice colour. Nice shiny bus. So a quick check. Maybe they have fuel on board. But you are a very nice shiny bus. Where is it? Over here. I don't know why the doors... The doors are always different colours. They're not the same as the rest of the bus. Gas. Not what I need. More gas. A mixture of all sorts of horrible things. A gold bar. We can be rich. Some paint. What are you up here? Oil. We don't need oil. But I will take the gold bar just for uh, gold. Because who doesn't need gold? That's the thing. Let's hope we don't run into any wily rabbits. Uh, that's right, I grabbed my headlight. Or at least one of them and put him in the car. Didn't really need to, but uh, I did. But oh well, I still got lights. I got one light anyway. That'd be enough to drive for a little bit. Gold. Ooh. So how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing indeed? I've had the last couple of days off. Well, I've had two days off. This is my third day off in a row, which has been really nice. I've had a chance to relax. I played a little bit of a different game this morning. I played Myst, which if you don't know is from 1990... 1999. Kind of a click adventure game. I don't know if it came first or second to Riven, which is another game by the same creators that uh, Adam Savage worked on, which I remember from when I was a kid, because my grand used to play these games. And um, I'm playing, I'm having a go at it now, and it's, it's nine, you know, old game 90s kind of hard. It's not a, you know, time limited or, it's a puzzle game, you know, it's not about life or time limits or anything like that. You have to wander around, find the clues, solve the puzzles. Um, and it's 90s hard. It's not like, here's a clue. Now take this clue and you'll know what to do with it. You know digital notepads or anything like that. No, this has been updated in your journal. You kind of got to remember it or write it down yourself. Um, so it's 90s hard. That's what I like to think of it anyway. But yeah, I'm having fun so far. The graphics is, uh, well, very dated. Maybe on an 800 by 600 monitor, it would look decent. Uh, but on a 27-inch, uh, it's uh, not that hot, but it's still a fun game, you know. I think it's still pretty good. Very pixelized. <laughs> That's alright. 
Oh, I forgot to check what our odometer is. Six kilometers. Oh, we're doing all right so far. So I'm going to try and play some more of that. Uh, even if it's just in my own time. I've tried, I made a real video of it. I have to go through and edit it. Um, I haven't done that yet. But uh, yeah, if I make a little series of it, I'll make a little series of it. Because um, these games are quite fun. I'm not that great at these games, but they involve... You need to think out of the box. And uh, I'm not always great at that. I know, I've kind of, I got my patterns and uh, that's it. They're good for working your mind. I've got another game which I finished recently called Primordial. Um, I got stuck in one spot. And uh, that's just because it's a really simple part and I just didn't think of it. It's just one of those games. Another great game from my childhood was uh, The Neverhood. If you know that one, it's a claymation game. Uh, so uh, your, your characters are all made out of clay. The storyline's pretty cool. And it is another click adventure game. There's only one spot in the game where you can die. And uh, you basically throw yourself down a giant plug hole. And that's how you die. Um, but otherwise, you're just, you're just invulnerable. It's one of these really weird, wacky games. All about the storyline, all about the puzzles. But it's such a cute, funky game. They recently made a new one, the creators of it, which was uh, DreamWorks, I remember. Kind of published it. I can't remember who actually made it, though. Um, but yeah, they released and they made a new one recently. Armor Krog, that was it. I've got that game. Um, it's not the same. It's, it's, you know, it's very similar, but it doesn't have the same feel. It's, it's all claymation and it's all story driven and puzzles and things like that, but it just doesn't have the same feel. I don't remember, I don't know if it's just the nostalgia that gets gets me and things like that. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll eventually get around to playing that one as well, I think. I haven't played that one in a while. I do have it on my computer. I just haven't played it. Why are we so slow? I thought the bus actually got up to some decent speeds, but uh, clearly not. At least it's actually making speed, unlike when I did it before and I had the... Uh, when I had the, um, what was it, the ladder engine in it, and it could, couldn't even climb hills. It was terrible. <laughs> it could get up to about 50, so it could get up to about this speed, and that was about as fast as it could go. As soon as you hit a hill, it was useless. Ooh, hello. So we need to keep an eye out for boats. That's a big thing, is we need fuel. Ooh, we're slowly chewing through it. Um, yes, it's a very big thing now, is I need to find fuel, so I need to keep an eye out. Driving at night probably isn't the best idea either, so, uh, yeah. Isn't going to stop me from uh, driving at night, but, um, yeah, it's not the best idea. Probably about halfway through the night now, anyway. So it's been a lovely warm day today, like, very warm. It's the kind of weather where it's like, you don't really want to... You, like, you don't really want to do anything. Like, I, I want to be active. I want to be creative. And uh, that's why I made a video earlier. And that's why I'm doing one now. But um, in the meantime, I just wanted to lie, lie on the couch and uh, have a snooze. Um, <laughs> just, just some of that weather. Haven't been sleeping well lately. It's all part to do with uh, working night shift and trying to get your schedule flip-flop every now and again. Uh, but uh, it's not great. But um, in saying that, it, it's uh, the the, the uh, warm weather doesn't help much either. Ooh, big rock coming up. Don't know how I'm going to miss that one. Oh boy, at this speed. Ooh, we're starting to pick up some speed again over the top of the hill. Let's get a bit of some sound going on, shall we? Bit of the old talk back radio. Ooh, we got the sun rising up over the desert. So I want to play some more of Drive BNG as well. Um, it's a fun little game. I was looking at picking up automation as well, but I thought, you know, I've already spent a lot of money on games this week when I bought a few other ones, but uh, yeah, I might just hold out a little bit longer. It's on special, but um, I thought, you know, I'll wait a little bit longer and uh, pick it up next time it comes around. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually trying to buy a new camera at the moment. So I've got a few big purchases I want. Uh, 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 oh, we got a uh, chat till you die. So I've got a few purchases, big ones I want to do. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Already or not, but I really do. I love, I love cars. Like, who was the genius that invented cars? I know, I know, cars. but I think that there was a lot of people together that invented it. I saw drawings of a 16th century that invented it. Well, it was planned at least. How Ooh, that sounds bright. But let's wander down here. Have a little look inside. My poor car is all gone. Oh well. I got a bus now. Hello, hand. What have we got in here? I need more diesel. Is there any diesel? Gas, of course. Well, this place is a bit of a bust. It's just all oil and gas. So, but, uh, that's all right. We'll just keep going. I'm sure we'll find a boat out there somewhere. Um, something I didn't check is the state of my wheels. I should really quickly check that because, um, that might be the reason why I'm not getting much speed going on. No, they all seem fine. All, all, all good quality tires. Which doesn't worry me. It means it means we're good to go. Uh, check that up there. Can I? Come on, throw it, please. There we are. One and a two. There we go. Jump up and in. I was trying to shut the door then, but you, sh you shut it from the other end of the bus. I am enjoying this life. Have a beer, and if you ever see a big stack of money, just wipe your ass with it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Chat till you die. Hey, my Turn friend, that over there. So yeah, I actually used to own a bus once. Well, not sure. like this. I used to have like a coaster bus, which was a uh, outfitting to be a camper. It was. I had it for a little while. I didn't really get very far with it. Um, it was very old and very beaten up. But it was a good little uh, project. Got me started. Got me thinking. There we are. So yeah, it, it, was, it was good. I wouldn't mind picking up another one at some point. Um, they're very, they're very, uh, very expensive to uh, maintain. That's the only problem. Because they did have six wheels, and they were big, thick, chunky bus wheels, and a massive engine. It, uh, it only had like a three and a half liter engine or something. I say massive, but my car at the moment has a four liter engine. So uh, yeah, it's, it's not that massive, but it was a diesel. It was an old diesel. And, um, yeah, diesels take a lot of oil. I, I remember my last one was a two and a half litre, and that took eight litres of oil or something like that. Something insane. For a small engine, it has a lot of oil. But then that's just diesels. They just have a lot of oil. I, I don't understand why. It's all in the sump. It's, it keeps everything lubricated and running. Um... I guess the more oil you have, the, the the longer it lives or something, especially under those uh, high compression standards that you get in diesel engines. Um, we'll just take a quick little shortcut. Oh, there's a boat. That's what I was looking for. Don't need to take a shortcut now. I didn't have a bendy bus like this. I just had a regular one. And it uh, didn't have a passenger door. It had like a driver's door you get in and out of. And then there was a uh, the actual cabin, the actual door halfway down the bus. It'd be cool if you could get like a car carrier or a tow truck or something like that in this game. So, l like what I was trying to do there, you could actually tow a vehicle or hitch it up in some way. Uh, 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 we're drifting, drifting five tons of steel. Let's see what goodies we have here. I need some fuel. Let's have a quick check for fuel. Empty. Oil. Oil and gas. Empty. This is going to be one of those funky boats that doesn't actually have any diesel in it. You can run old diesel engines on various things like cooking oil. Um, like canola oil. You can run a diesel... Especially the older ones on canola oil and things like that. 
uh, it's really quite interesting. They, they apparently they, they sm makes them smell funny. Um, but you can do it. We've got more oil. I don't think that's a part of the game though. Um, it should be a shame because I seem to find a lot of oil. A lot of oil. So that wasn't too bad. Out of all of these we got two barrels. So about 100 litres. I think that's about half a tank on the, on the old bus out there. Um, so I'm just going to quickly get this filled and then we will come back. And here we are. We've got 96 litres of diesel now. Oh, pretty close. I thought I had a bit more than that, but obviously not. That was empty and that was empty. So yeah, that, that gives me a little bit more. Uh, at least another 80 litres. So uh, that's something. Now we have to get back onto the road. Now where was the road? It goes off which way? Other side of the bus, I think that way. So we'll just uh, get a go on and uh, see 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 where we end up. We are 14 kilometers in, so that's something pretty decent so far. Making a little bit of speed, not great speed, but well, we're making it there. So the road goes up that way. Okay. Why are we so slow? don't know we just seem very slow the wheels are all right do the rims affect anything at all I don't know I don't think this this uphill would be that much of an issue but it might be actually maybe that the bus is just so underpowered because of its size I don't really have that much in there you know Ah, talking about robots. How much fun is that? You know, th there are no robots in the game. It'd be cool if they had some. Maybe that's what the aliens are. Who knows? Yeah, strange glowing green lights. They are secret... What are they? Secret army airplanes? Who knows? <laughs> ah, but we'll get there very slowly. I kind of miss having my bus, you know, there's a, there's a few times where I've gone away in my in my cars and campers and things like that and I go, you know, I really wish I had my bus still. The only problem was, was the ceiling was too low. Um, it would have been fine for someone, you know, 5'8", five, 5'10". Five, Me, I'm 6'3", so it's, uh, it was a wee bit too short, you know, even 6 foot would have been fine, I'm sure. But uh, for 6.3, um, yeah, the roof is a bit low. <laughs> it, it, had it, even, it had even been extended up a little bit. You know, they, they cut the top of the roof off and put a flat roof on there to lift it up just a fraction. But even then, that was still very low. What's going on? I thought you would have been able to do this hill. I'm going to have to try and serpentine my way up this hill, probably. Jeez, I thought the bus was more powerful. Oh, it stopped. <laughs> it shouldn't have stopped, but it did. Can I go that way then? It's one of these situations where it's like, I need it to go up this hill. I can't progress unless it goes up this hill. Like, I'm sure my old car has kind of rolled into the, uh, rolled into the abyss by now. Because they'll, they'll keep rolling until they hit a point where the ground stops spawning, and um, at that point they just kind of fall into the into the endless void. Almost there, getting there slowly, just cresting this little bit of a hill here. God, this thing is slow. There's the uh, there's the uh, what is it? There's the ocean liner, all the way down there. And it has been 15 minutes so far, just sneaking backwards and forwards, trying to get up to here. 19 kilometers. So uh, we've probably driven three in the last 15, 15 minutes. So uh, yeah, traveling at a what, what a whopping, uh, what would that be? 10 k's an hour, maybe? All right, we're starting to lose speed again. Got a zigzag.
I think it would be closer to 12 kilometers an hour, to be honest. <laughs> Just trying to work out the math in my head there. Yeah, if you zigzag backwards and forwards like this, as long as you're still climbing, you'll get there eventually. You might have to do a couple of little loops and snake back and forwards a few times. But uh, it's sometimes easier to go up on an angle like this than it is to go straight up the road. You want to try and keep with the, the gradient. So it's a little bit less steep if I do it like this, just bit by bit. I think I've got a little bit of a downhill here as well. To avoid that cactus, not really, but uh... Looks like the back's kind of sliding. But yeah, we're still climbing as you can see, still going upwards. It just takes a little bit longer than you would expect. Oh, we've got a uh, garage here, look at that. This might be my opportunity to uh, get a car. I didn't even see it coming up. So uh, that's something interesting. Can I kind of snake my way around and up onto the next hill, use some momentum? Well, there is a car indeed. I think I'm going to have to swap because this bus is terrible. I don't like swapping vehicles so, so promptly, but um... Oh. Of course it's one of those, of course. I'm kind of hoping not to get a Trabant. They are cute. But I don't think they're any more powerful than the bus, to be honest. <laughs> I could put the bus motor in there, but I couldn't call it, which is the problem. That's the one thing I would like to do, is be able to keep it cool. Um... I think I might have to take the Trabant the way things are going at the moment. On the roof there, is, can, can I jump up there? Not really, not from this angle anyway. You can kind of jump on the cars, but it kind of flings you off. Like that. Oh, almost, and we're up. What have we got here? That is gas, two litres. Um, we've got a barrel here which has got what in it? Alcohol? Oil? Some blood? More oil? So there is enough to make the Trabant run, I can see that. Um, but I don't want to take the Trabant. <laughs> I might just have to, unfortunately. But I can take the motor, I'll take it and uh, maybe I can fit the motor in the boot. <laughs> but we'll just see what I can do and then we'll come back and get a move on again, I think. So I just opened the bonnet here and it was gridded me with the diesel, so it's like it wants to go in there. <laughs> so I am going to do the sensible thing and put the diesel motor in the Trabant. It's like it's meant to be, if I can get it in the right position. There we go. Like that. Isn't that perfect? It fits like a glove. That's just crazy. <laughs> okay. Um, I won't need that, but I'll empty you out. And uh, I can use this to siphon the fuel across. I will, however, take my radiator. Because when I find another car, because I will need to find another car, there's no ifs or buts about that, I will have a radiator with me that is suitable to this application. Here we are, some more diesel to go in the, uh, the tank. And I'll get as much of this out as I can, so I'll probably need it, to be honest. I did see a barrel over there, but I don't really want to take a barrel. There's enough empty containers around that I can get at least some fuel with me. So, uh, yeah, we'll do what we can. 24 litres should be enough to get me some distance. It'll probably overheat before it runs out of fuel many times. Close that. Oh. Ah, doesn't help when I do that. That's what I was trying to do. But I need to shut this, that one there. All right, I'll just grab my pumpkins and I think we're good to go. There's not much here I really need. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's, apart from the obvious, uh, which is a motor, a decent motor that is, not these uh, 
nifty little two strokes. They are cute and all that, but uh, yeah, I want a little bit more grunt than that to be honest. Um, we have to be aware of the overheating, it's going to overheat. There's no ifs or buts about it, it's going to overheat. So I just have to be aware of that and uh, just check what my kilometers are before we depart. I heard something. I heard something. Where is he? I heard him. I thought I saw something over here as well. But I might have been lucky. I might have just been hearing things on the radio. I never know. Um, but what's my odometer say? 21. So remember that. I'll take these both with me. Um, I won't use them now because I don't like the sound of these rabbits everywhere. So I'm just going to jump in and do the best I can. Uh, one of the headlights is so dim because it's behind the engine. Is they going to climb the hill now? We've got, we've got some grunt, we've got some grunt. But for how long, that's the question. I don't want to go too fast because the wheels aren't going to like that. But I need to go fast enough to keep the, the, the guts going. Ugh, ugh. But it's going, it's got lots of power. Just tempted to, uh, to feather the ignition to keep it, uh, to try and keep it cool because I don't have a uh, temp gauge on this one. I'll turn that off now and let it coast. 90. It's going to start freaking out any moment now, I swear. So we've already done one kilometer, 1 kilometre, 1.3 kilometres. That's pretty decent so far. Considering that uh, in the last 20 minutes we did three. And as soon as you change engines, we're away again. I'm just kind of lucky there was a car there to start with. And I swear that banging is my tyres. That, well, that banging and clattering is terrible, absolutely terrible. And that was me overheating, I think. It didn't like that. It just kind of went poof, 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 poof. And uh, yeah. Now we just let it coast. Just let it coast. So in a couple of minutes, we've already done more kilometers than we did trying to get up that hill in the bus. That's uh, pretty bad. I seem to spend plenty of my time in this game driving without a radiator or with rate with a uh, overheating engines, uh, all that kind of fun stuff. It does happen for me quite a lot. Ooh, keep it straight. Ooh, ooh, avoid that. Avoid that. Ooh, we're getting there slowly. A little bit of a twisty turny there. Ah. Yeah, just have to stop for a moment at the most inappropriate time. And when you come back, it's like, oh, what am I doing again? Here we go. Just keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight. Ah, no, that's not it. That's not straight. Ugh. I side on into a tree. And my mouse had fallen asleep. That's half of the problem. Everything good. Did I lose anything? It all looks fine so far. Anything up here I need to worry about? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, auto save. Ooh, that's a bit, a bit, a bit of a long one then. I oh, know everything looks fine. So we're all downhill, downhill from here. So this might be good. I just need to turn the car around, and we should be good. Where about Zawi anyway? Uh, so we've done. So that's five k. So we've done twenty six all up. If I go this way. Well, the sun's about to come up. So I will use this opportunity to uh, 
sort my tires out, and then we'll come back. Hubcaps. Gotta love them hubcaps. I think my tires look a lot better now. There's a couple there that were a bit dodgy. Let's get the uh, momentum going. It's the right direction now, and now we just let it coast. And hope for the best. Not all these episodes where we're driving super e economical. Super economical. Oh, that hill's going to be fun to try and climb. Let's go right up the top there. Yes. So if I can go in a straight line, we should be fine, I hope. We should hopefully be able to get up there without too much issues, hopefully. Otherwise, I'm going to have to stop on the hill somewhere and uh, let it cool off. Which probably will be the case. There we go. Just died on me. Oh, we've got quite a bit of weight. We've got quite a quite some of the weight. Why can't I mount you? Why can't I mount you into the car here? Why? So whereabouts are we? Oh, we've got a little bit of the way up the hill. Still got a long way to go. What's that over there? Just rocks. Okay. Let's see what we can do bit by bit. As we overheat the engine time and time again. Nope. <laughs> it doesn't like that. So. Uh. 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 Hello, bud. Bud, don't worry. Can I, uh... What can I do to get rid of you? You can stand there as much as you like. I, as long as you're not... As long as we play nice, you can stand there. I'm not too fussed about you if you don't mess with me. <laughs> Look at the size of him. It's like the rabbits on Teletubbies. Uh, oh, he says nose wiggles. How cute is that? Oh. Nose wiggle. Never noticed that before. Let's do this and then Can we run him over. <laughs> Surfing rabbit. Goodbye. He's going to catch up to us in no time. Especially if we can't get over the top of this hill. Why couldn't I mount you to the car somewhere? Even if you were just holding onto the front there. That would have made it so much easier. Just having this hanging out there somewhere. There's plenty of space, I'm sure. Let's have a look at it under here. Look at all that. We could have put it over here somewhere. We could have like hung it out, out on this side here. Because you can't use that headlight anyway. Might as well cover this one as well. Well, while I wait for this to cool down, I think I'm going to end the episode here a little bit earlier. Um, we have traveled uh, 30 kilometers, 30.8 kilometers, um, because I'm going to try and get to the end of the hill, and then that's where we'll start off next time. But at the moment, it's just a long and annoying, frustrating, trying to move up this hill here. So uh, rather than recording constantly for the next uh, hour as we try and climb up this hill, I will end it here, make it a bit of a shorter one, and maybe in the next episode we can... Uh, push some more kilometers so um yes this has been the long drive if you are interested in the overheating simulator uh we can uh download it on steam pick it up help support the creators the uh, uh they're doing a pretty good job they've just put out new updates uh for multiplayer is coming out soon hopefully um so they've done some more information than that but anyway this has been the long drive until next time adios and here I am struggling to get up this hill at the moment. You don't realize how steep it is to get out of the car. And you look at that and say, wow. There's the two boats. There's how far I've got to go. <laughs> and um, yeah. We've traveled a long way, but still a long way to go.